tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is the uh, spray foam day. I know Steve's very excited for the spray foam. <laughs> I'm very excited for the spray foam. You guys hopefully are very excited for the spray foams. Let me turn these fans off because they're a little noisy. Well, I was working away at uh, filtering, uh, I don't know, probably 80 gallons of oil by now. Steve was helping me out with this. We have a nice little system here. This is a uh, support for the uh, toilet. Uh, so yeah, we box this all out. We're gonna spray foam all this stuff. We're gonna spray foam this one here. Um, Steve said, hey, why don't we kind of plan out the bench uh, stuff. Um, so he's cutting all the pieces for that. We're gonna have two bench seats in the front. Um, I guess we'll just kind of work our way back. The hard part is, I'm not a builder, right? So I'm like learning as I'm going and I'm probably, I don't know, 25% fast as Steve, so that'd be, what, four times slower? So I'm probably four times slower of a worker than he is because um, he has tons of experience and I'm so grateful that he's here to help me. Uh, and I know I, I definitely hold people up because I'm trying to learn, I'm asking questions, I'm saying, what about this and what about that? Meanwhile, him, Mike, Badge, everybody else, they already got those answers figured out, right? But uh, if anybody can relate to me, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, here we are, just continuing on. This is how you cut them exactly the same way. Smooth like butter. All right, Steve, briefly tell us. What is the method behind the madness? Why are we uh, cutting wood for a bench when we can't install it today? Because if we get it, all the framework ready, as soon as the spray foam is in, later today we're cutting up plywood to go up on the walls. As soon as the spray foam guy says it's okay, walls go up, we pick up the framework, we put it in, screw it in place, and we just gotta sheathe it. Look at how badass Steve is. We're just making these uh, squares. I'm gonna jump in in a second and help him, but, uh, but yeah, let's just get all this stuff done. So this is gonna be, my, your arm is gonna either rest on this or that. I don't really remember. We were kind of sizing things up based on this. Uh, came from uh, when Toys R Us shut down, they, they got a bunch of stuff. So here is, what things, I think this looks, this is good, at least for me. Claire Bear might have a little hard time, it might be like that on her, but for uh, <laughs> if those not vertically challenged, I think this is a pretty good size. What do you think, Steve? That yeah, works for me. Look guys, we're building things. So these, uh, we're just gonna kinda put these things in place after the foam, like we already said. So we're trying to do as much as possible, but that's what it's gonna look like there. This one's going to be the seat. This is where the seat back goes into. There's Justin over there I took as a scaffolding. <laughs> Sorry, man. We uh, borrow each other's uh, things here at the shop. But uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of plug, plug and play. Now we're going to multiply this by two for the other side. We got a little ambitious and we built two of these things. So I don't want to say we're done, but we just don't have to do this part of the build anymore. Essentially, the framing is complete for these bad boys and just to you know explain away here we're just gonna cover 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 with plywood and then of course put nice little armrests on top thanks Steve uh, today's a very exciting day we we're having spray foam the spray foam guy was a little late so now we are uh, taping out the inside here and we steampunk steve we got the mojo bus justin and renee thank you guys so much for stopping by yeah, it is much appreciated kind of put out a, a call to help uh wasn't too familiar with cabinets and uh to my surprise um uh, you know some people were like hey i can help you out i'm coming by i'm in town i'm out of town i'm swinging through so we now have uh, uh three helpers instead of one helper so uh hopefully we can get this thing on the road here pretty soon how far is the kitchen going? All the way past the wheel well? Man, good question. I think it goes right to this wall here. Alright. 
Because that makes sense, right? I thought that's, yeah, for your shower, we, right? Yeah, well, the shower's over there. No, 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 I meant to meet. Wait, hang on, wait, hang on. No, actually, the wall goes here. That's the kitchen? Wait. Closet? Yeah, it was going to be offset, so it's, no, no, that's right, it's right here. Because the, fr the front wall is right here, right? I don't even know the layout on my own bus. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> Justin, would you uh, walk us through what we're doing here on the floor? Because I'm sure there's people in there wondering what is all this blue tape on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, we're trying to lay out the cabinets, figure out exactly how we want them to go right now. Um, Jax knows he wants his uh, bench up here and a media cabinet here. Um, and then it kind of bops out over there to a bathroom and a shower. So we're trying to figure out the angle we want our cabinets to go on so no one clips a sharp corner or anything like that. Yep. And how big these cabinets are going to be. Yeah. So the line, we haven't made it yet, but it, uh, the, this shower is a little bit wider than this uh, wheel well just because I, you know, wanted a nice uh, amount of space. And then it's going to dip in and it's going to turn. It's going to take one of these three forks in the road here. So I'm leaning towards the elongated one. What are you guys leaning towards? I kind of like the middle one. <laughs> okay, Steve? I'm liking the middle one. Yeah, because it's a little grad, more gradual. The other one's too sharp. Yep. That one's too sharp. All right, what do you guys think? We have three options here. By the time you guys uh, vote, by the way, uh, this will probably be decided. But uh, which one looks best to you? Comment below. I go on benders, right? Not drugs. Food benders. For the past <laughs> week or so, week plus, maybe even more than a week. Steve, what have I been eating for the past week? We found this Chinese place <laughs> that delivers. He's become our best buddy. <laughs> yeah. So part of the reason is it's cheap and delicious, and it reminds me of my childhood. But the other reason is I'm trying to get on good terms with them, so they'll deliver oil to me along with my meal. Yes? And this is half of what was there. I make two meals out of this one. True. They, they are big portions. So that's right up there with Little Caesars for bang for your buck. All right. <laughs>